Striper with my love I'll always show CVT guitar lesson for Axel Axel my brother what's happening um, killer song now Oz is harmonizing chords or whoever did the secondary guitar actually is harmonizing chords which is beautiful and um, and then Mike you know probably playing the melody chords I'm not positive but uh, I think when Mike wrote this song he figured someday he, he's gonna run across me on YouTube and go Mike's not Mike Gross is not gonna be able to figure this out some of these chords are crazy it's cool and you know have you seen Mike's fingers they're like this could you not they're daggers man just kidding but seriously his fingers are long and the chords are tough um, matter of fact they blend so close at times and with the reverb um, it made it a little tougher so it wound up being five pages of tabs we're gonna jump in here section 1a which is probably the hardest part um, 9a we're gonna you know be using the fingers here thumb index and middle and I can do use those through this whole song to be um, the 9a open high E the 10 B back to the A then E B so it starts out and these are chords or arpeggios so they're holds and then 11 G is our first one so you can set them all down like that thumb handles you know the bass notes and then at the middle will handle the lowest this way and the index the one above it then I open A and, and all that is is like kind of a walk down transition it just keeps the flow going now check this out he's going where is it at here it's gonna be 8A 10B and yeah craziness you gotta lower that thumb I wrote a song using this chord, man, and yeah, after a while playing, you know, for me, I got to where I, I wanted things to just be not the norm sounding. This song, he could have, Mike could have wrote all the chords in the you know simple standard forms, but he made it a lot more melodic. So we got 8A, 11D, 13G, and 10B. Like Randy Rhodes stuff, right? So once you have that sitting down, you're gonna go A, B, G twice. And then the 11 D. So you can see kind of the pick pattern. And I know I got a little fret buzz going on there. And then uh, another open A to transition the walk down. This one will be 7 A, 10 B, 9 G twice. And then a seven off the D. Well, if you bar it, you're ready, right? So. And then an open A to transition. Probably should do that with my index. So I can do the thumb on the open A. Then 6A, 7B. There's a few different ways to do the fingering on this. Um, so you don't have to follow what I put. 6A, 7B, 6G. So I'm going to bar the sixth fret. And we're gonna need a 7D as well. And um, pick the same exact thing. Then an open A, so. Oops, what happened? Where am I at? Oh. 5A, open EB twice. Oh wait, we're gonna need a, a 7G and a 7D in there as well. So like a power chord with the octave and uh, and then all opens with a 2G in there. Just keep that same pick pattern we've been doing. And then this is a B minor 2A. So I'm gonna bar that second fret. Um, we need 2A, 4D, 4G, and 3B. And when we pick, it's, uh, it's going to change because he's doing some hammer pulls. A, B, G, A. We move the middle finger, 
pick the 2B hammer to 3, do it again with the hammer pull, and then the 4 G and D, that's already down, so... Oops. And then it ends with... Let's see. Open E, 7A, 9D, 9G, and then just strum them. Okay? From the A down, but... That takes care of section 1A. Section 1B, 26 seconds in. It's the A open, and then E and B open. And so all you need to push down is the 6G. You can experiment with fingering on this. Uh, but go A, E, B twice and then the 6G so oops dang it the 7D thought I heard it open with that but um, probably second guitar open um, and then do it again but go to the 9G and D Okay, so we go from here to here, or from here. And then, go to the seventh fret. Um, I'm gonna use third and second finger, but seven on the B and G. Like I said, you can experiment with fingering, but go. We're going to go A, B, G, A, E, B, G, A. And then 2D, open E, 3B, 4G. That's what you're going to need sitting down for this one. And it's going to go. Oops. Oops. the 2D which is uh, that's how they end it so we have D E B D E B G D so those first three notes you double them for most of these that all of that is twice section 1B and then 50 seconds in we got section 2A and uh, bar the fifth fret E and B and we're gonna go open D string and then B E Then go 7G, 5B, 5E, 7B. So this one's a little jumping around, kind of, but... Oops. Really, you just got to drop the pinky in at the end. Short rest. Then we go to page 3. And then it's going to be open D again. Love that. Uh, 5E, 6B, 7G. Okay, start with the D string and then go E, B, G. Twice, but this time lift your index towards the open E. So. And then this walk down, which is. Let's see. Um, open A, 2D, 2G, open D as a transition, and then 4E, 4G, 5B, and then open A to transition. So your outline, you know. Just bar the second fret makes the most sense on this. Well, there's a few different ways, but we're gonna go E D G twice, and then throw a four D in there, and then a four A to transition. And then that leads us to an open D fifth fret barred on the B and E, and then seven G. And then B, E, 7, B. We did that earlier. 
Then this one again. To repeat. So we have. That A walk down. Um, let's see. Where'd we go? And this, I went more with the solid progression. Um, because sometimes the harmon the chord that's harmonizing is a little more punching through. And I was listening to try to keep the bottom end of this uh, going. So we have the A, A, D, G, D. And do it again, but put a G sharp on the bass. So add the fourth fret on the low E. Again with the second fret on the top. That could be thumb, just lots of different ways. So we have. Um, then open D, 2G, open E, 3B. So. this. Oops. Open E, 7A, 9D, 7A, and then strum the E major chord, bar the 9th fret D, G, and B, keep the 7A down, and we'll just strum E through B. So it's section 2B, 18 seconds in, 2nd fret G is all you need to play this. And you'll recognize the open A and then E, B, G twice. This is the chorus, I believe. And then the open A again. And then, uh... 2 E, 5 B, and 5 E. And then 2 open on the E. That open E is going to be followed with open E, B, 2nd fret G. So, then 4A, 5B, and 4G, and you're ready. Now this is interesting, watch. E, B, G, E, B, open G and D. And they're played soft. And they kind of sound out of, key, out of keyish by themselves. They're buried in the mix. Um, it just keeps it flowing, really. You could hold those notes down, like, like end with A B off of the chord if you want. Okay, then two E, open E, open B, and then go four D, three G, four D. So we have. And then 4A. So really you can set all that down. We have. Um, 2A, it's the B minor. 3B, 4G, 4D, and you're gonna go. So we did it the exact same way last time with the hammer pulls. And then Open E, 7A, 9D, 9G, and then strum the whole E chord. If you can get the 7E in there, they're doing it, but I just kind of curved this finger out. All right, top of page four. Section 3A, minute 36 in. Um, let's get a 6G and a 7D sitting down ready. A, and then go E, B, G twice. And then end with the 7, D. And then uh, open D, E, and B with a 7, G in it. And then open E, and then high E, open B, 9, G. And that's it for that. So here's what that part is. Section 3B, minute 42. Open A. We're going to need this, the 2G for this one. But
but it's E, B, G twice. And then an A, and then an A again, so. That's what I introed this with, all right? So um, your next one, open A, and then think of a D major shape, two, three, two, but move it up a whole step to four, five, four. It's still gonna have the A bass, and then E, B, G, and then four E, hammer five, and then again with the hammer pull, four, five, four, and then the five, four, B, G, so it sounds like this. Repeat that in the D position with a, um, a bass now. Well, we had the A bass anyways. So from here, watch, we have. And then an open E, and then five E, three B, four G. And then four E, three B, four G and then open the Wii, so it ends with